Hi! I'm Miss Hannah from the Highland Park Public Library, and welcome to Library in Your Living Room. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own homemade Play-Doh. There are a lot of Play-Doh recipes out there on the internet, and most of them want you to either cook the dough on the stove or use boiling water. And those recipes are okay, but I really like today's recipe because you don't have to heat anything up and you don't have to worry about burning yourself. So it's nice and safe. <laughs> um, before you start this project or any big project like this, be sure to get a grown-up's permission or better yet, ask them to join you. All right, so here are the ingredients you'll need. All-purpose flour, table salt, vegetable oil, water, and if you want Play-Doh that isn't white, you'll want some food coloring. All right, so um, in this bowl, I've got um, one half cup of flour and a quarter cup of salt. Those are the dry ingredients. So I'm gonna mix those together with a spoon just to get them incorporated together. And at the end of the video, I'll have a slide that has all the measurements for both a small batch like this one, and then also a big batch if you want to do a whole mess of Play-Doh for, for a big Play-Doh project. Okay, now I'm going to add the wet ingredients. So this is a quarter cup of water mixed with three quarters of a teaspoon of vegetable oil. Dump that in. And then stir with your spoon to combine everything. So once those four ingredients are in the bowl and all mixed together, you're basically done. You'll have a white Play-Doh that you can play with. And um, what's really cool about this recipe is that once the dough dries out, you can um, paint it with tempera paints. So if you don't have food coloring, but you have paint, you can use that on the dough once it's dry. But I'm going to give my dough a little bit of color today. So I'm going to add some food coloring. I'll do about three drops of red and then one drop of yellow just to make it a bit more fancy. And that will give me orange, and probably a pretty light orange because I didn't use a lot of color. And then another idea that I had was to make my Play-Doh smelly. So I have this food extract that's been in my cupboard for years. It's um, anise extract, so it kind of tastes like licorice. And I don't really like the way it tastes, but the way it smells is pretty cool. So I'm going to add about a capful of that anise extract. And now that the dough is kind of getting hard to mix with a spoon, I'm going to start kneading it with my hands. So yeah, so to make it smelly, you can add a little bit of flavor extract like anise or vanilla extract. Um, you could also add a couple shakes of cinnamon if you wanted. And then another project I've seen online is using um, Kool-Aid to make it both smell really cool and also give it a, an interesting color. And I'll have instructions for that at the end of the video too. All right, so the texture of the dough is pretty good. I don't need to add anything extra to it. Now I just have to knead the dough to get it all in one big ball. If you're making your Play-Doh and you find that it's too sticky and you can't pick it up like this, then that means there's probably too much water in it. So if you add a little bit more flour and knead the flour in, that should get the dough to the right consistency. On the other hand, if you find the dough is really crumbly and you can't form it into a ball like this, that means that the dough is too dry and you'll want to add a little bit of water, just a couple drops at a time, to get the dough nice and moist. And like I said, the dough is basically finished at this point. 
um, my color didn't really show up too well, so I think I need to add a couple more drops of food dye to actually get it to the orange. But it definitely smells like licorice, <laughs> so the extract definitely worked. So once your dough is complete, you can use it to make pretty much anything you want. You can do an animal sculpture. You could make um, like a self sculpture of, of, of you. Um, one thing I like to do is take a plastic toy and sort of press it into the dough and then take the toy out and let it dry. And then once the dough is dry, it looks like a fossil of the toy. It's really cool. If you want to make a project that you're going to save, just leave it out on the windowsill for a couple of days once you're done with the project and the dough will dry out and you can actually save it for a pretty long time. Um, if you want to save the dough to play with for later though, be sure that you store it in an airtight container like a plastic Ziploc bag. That way the air doesn't get to it because the air will dry out the Play-Doh and then you can't play with it anymore. Okay, so I think that is just about all mixed together. That's about as orange as it's going to get, so I think I will add a couple more drops of food coloring later. <laughs> but um, that's basically it. Um, the slide at the very end will give you the um, measurements for both a small batch and a large batch. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, be sure to check out our website, hplibrary.org, for more fun programs. And if you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, stay safe and wash your hands.